Morning. Thank you very much uh, for waking up early for us. What's uh, before I come to mid caps and specific areas that you're interested in? Uh, what's the mood in the market looking like? Uh, Sudarshan was just telling us that ten thousand is round the corner. What's your sense? Uh, good morning, Nida. Um, the market mood is very evident. You know, whatever you feel and whatever people talk today is considered with the market mood. And as you know, I don't go with the market mood. Uh, the best of calls I have made is all. It's a time when everybody has been bearish, and you know, the, when things were looking not so bright. And uh, but as you said, I'm not really a mid cap specialist or a small cap specialist. Of course, I when in the search of values, uh, when we look for deep values, naturally uh, people like me end up uh, with smaller cap companies in India. It is because of the structure of Indian economy and where we are heading to. I feel uh, it's it's very sad. A lot of people. Uh, you know, active investors, trading community, they are missing uh, always, you know, the big picture on India. This is what I have been always talking about. Uh, Leda, if you remember in the last uh, maybe four years' time, I had never been bearish, even for a day, even for an hour, except for Saturdays and Sundays. I have been very, very you know, optimistic. Uh, that is because of the big picture uh, I'm looking at. And, and still, I, I, I will request investors, even the active investors and trading community, you know, if you are trading or investing in India, you need to change your, I mean, those who are not already in, in line with uh, what is required, have to change the way you are looking at Indian markets, Indian equities, and Indian economy. Please okay. understand one thing. We are, India is going through, uh, you know, very, very exciting times. We are entering a new era of economic development. And everything is changing. This is a, this is a, this is an unprecedented change the way politicians manage economy and the way uh, the corporate world is taking shape, the way disruptive growth is happening. You know, we never had this kind of a situation earlier. And you know, during this kind of times, the, the normal uh, analyst and you know, the so-called experts, they may go wrong. If they continue to do the traditional way of number crunching and price earning multiples kind of, uh, you know, uh, focus. Okay. Parinjo, good morning. That, that point is well taken. And, you know, I remember, uh, you know, you're, you're saying this about uh, two or three months back that uh, a lot of people will have a missed out feeling. A lot of people now have a missed out feeling on the market. Uh, but uh, uh, do you get a sense that uh, this year the market could continue to surprise on the upside? Uh, uh, yes, Anuj. Last year we had, I think, around 18 plus percent uh, return on Nifty, uh, around 24 percent uh, return on uh, the BSC 500, it's a broader index. Uh, but I would say uh, the small caps, the, I don't know the small cap index and I don't believe in the, cons the composition of that index. It's a small representation. In fact, the small cap stock pickers made at least 100 percent return in the last one year. Mm. So, so this okay. is one, one, one should not see it light. And going forward in uh, to the financial year 2018, uh, I feel a similar kind of a uh, uh, position I'm looking at. You know, we may grow 15 to 20 percent on NFT, and smart stock pickers can make you know anything between 50 to 100 percent return. Uh, but when I say this, this is not something too exciting kind of thing. It is at the same time, it's time to be conservative and to be choosy in the market, to be very selective. You cannot go out and buy any any stocks listed, or you know it's very sad. A lot of small investors get cheated. You know they go, they follow the SMS tips. The, now WhatsApp is a major villain for those people who are vulnerable to that. So you know these are these are not the healthy way of investing in the market. They are like I would say the illegal slaughterhouse in UP. They are both <laughs> illegal. They are illegal and unhealthy. You uh, picked up this theme about small cap and mid cap stocks. Uh, you are generally known to, you know, take fancy to stocks that are not much loved in this market. So let me talk about one of them. Recently, you bought into. I know you don't want to talk about individual stocks, but recently you bought into something like Celan Exploration, a stock that has not given any returns. In fact, only eroded wealth over the last two years. Just wanted to understand from you, what kind of potential do you see in spaces and stocks like these? Yeah, it, I think this is a very good time to ask this question, uh, Sonia. Uh, I was looking at some stocks last two weeks. In fact, I had uh, tweeted a message, you know, it's the time, March ending is coming up. A lot of people will throw away shares which are not performing to book loss and adjust to the profits on the other side. So that was an, another opportunity, a pocket of opportunity. I was buying personally only stocks which were at uh, one year low or multi year low in the last two weeks. Of course, Salan was one of them. Salan was at around uh, 10 year low. 
Uh, we, I didn't have any position otherwise. So I bought it again. We, this was uh, one of my stock, you know, earlier, the, many years ago, I bought it. We made profits, in fact, and we had exited. Uh, even though the last two years was, as you rightly told, it was not, it was a wealth destruction, industry-specific reasons, and one company, you know, the, to, just being uh, managed without transparency, like, uh, not like a listed company to be. Uh, so, so Salani said, it's a beautiful company, you know, it's a zero company sitting on 130, 40 crores cash, and, uh, you know, they have huge uh, potential to expand more and more production, and even this kind of a low oil price regime, you know, it's making 30, 40 crores kind of cash, uh, cash flow. So the, the whole market cap is around, I think, 250 to 300 crores. Uh, so that kind of bargains, in actually this kind of many of these uh, small and mid caps in India, next two years, mm. this is going to be a wonderful period for stock pickers. They should focus in that sector, not because they are small cap and mid cap. Many of these small and mid caps are going to grow and they are going to grow very big. And Sony, as I told last year, we have many of these uh, mid cap companies, which are the industry leaders in India today. And which, when they are not fancy, they are, they are at attractive levels. People always want the fancy name, you know, something discussed on the media, and a lot of people talk about it or something coming through the WhatsApp. So I'm telling you, India, the structure of Indian markets are very different. We have enough and more choice. And, you know, there is an, there is an abundant opportunity in this market. And you know, so that... But I'm sorry, I've got to ask you one of the, uh, you know, more WhatsApp and well-publicized uh, themes, which is housing. Uh, I mean, it's expected that the government is going to go big guns on it. And in India, in any case, it's an evergreen theme. Uh, I noticed that in your list, you have Orient Cement HSIL. But uh, tell us about uh, how you handle this theme. Uh, this Hindustan Sanitary Wire, the HSIL yes. is an industry leader. And they're a very important company, well-managed company. Their margins are improving. It's a very large company. So, But today, it's not in fancy. Uh, it's not a great performer if you see last two years in the markets. And we, this one of our uh, holding in portfolio management. I think India has, uh, you know, this company has huge relevance in going forward. Uh, when you talk about housing and, you know, housing for all, for all the poor, government is developing many, many schemes, talking about the Vision 22, everybody have a home. You know, these all are practical. Our economy is structurally so strong. We can do all these things if you have a will and, you know, uh, if you have got really a decision, the political decisions are very important. So luckily that is happening after, after you know, so many decades of independence, first time Indian politicians are taking strong and hard decisions, which is very important going forward. I really appreciate that. Okay. Purinju, uh, finally, before we let you go, uh, uh, you know, uh, three months back we were talking about uh, reliance and taking stock and you said it, it's at inflection point. Uh, how much more for this stock? Because, uh, you know, it, it drives markets, uh, as we've seen in, over the last two or three months. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. How much more, uh, Anuj? This will, it will continue to, uh, uh, you know, give uh, returns to investors for next half a century. Oh, okay. Okay, half a century. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that that is uh, being very point blank there. But you know what? I, I also wanted to ask you about uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank because uh, we all know that you started your career with Uday Kotak, etc. So your fondness for him is well known. But you recently tweeted that the bank has the potential to grow to $100 billion. And it's been in focus because of the possible acquisitions, etc. You think it could be uh, growing with some of these uh, inorganic acquisitions, the NBFC companies that everyone's talking about? The $100 billion what I put is without inorganic uh, <laughs> potential. You know, that's very easy. That can happen much earlier than I, the time frame I give. No, this is again a common sense approach, Sonia, mm. not any number crunching. Now, uh, you know, see the, the structure of Indian economy and the, our demography structure, all these are pointing towards, you know, smart entrepreneurs and relevant business. There is a huge potential to grow, compound at 15, 20, and 25 percent for next 10, 20 years. That is that is a kind of inflection point of our economy we are sitting on. So that is that is why you told you know even if you uh, guys remember immediately after demonetization, I was talking about this was the biggest positive economic development since independence in India, and people were throwing away shares for such a positive development. See, I couldn't I couldn't. I, I couldn't believe myself. How, what is happening in this stock market? What the analysts are doing? You know, when, when we talk about a, a, a revolutionary transformation from black economy to white and, and uh, uh, declining corruption, 
and such kind of revolutionary things happening in a country and its economy, people go bearish for that. So I don't know if I can understand if Pakistanis do that when something like that good happening in India, but it's happening in our own country. <coughs> Okay. Well put. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Puriju. It's always a pleasure speaking with you.